and Crabtree talked to us, Leah, about some important work she did this offseason. If you think about her strikeout total from this season, last year she had 189 strikeouts. This season it jumped up to 334 coming into this game. And she really credits the work that she did with a sports psychologist. And you can see in the circle part of that routine. And, and she said a lot of it comes down to her breathing. We see her do that every play here. She worked in the offseason with Brian Kane, and she said it has made all the difference in the world. She doesn't feel like she physically is a different pitcher, but completely a different pitcher on the mound mentally. And she says now she'll watch other pitchers and think, why don't they just breathe when they're when they're struggling? So it's it's made a huge impact on them. Juju count. And Crabtree said that she tends to get overwhelmed with too much information, too many things going on. And she said, literally, I just have to keep it simple. I don't want to know the scouting report. I don't want to know anything about what's going on. I trust my assistant coach, Abby Sims, who's calling the pitches. I trust my catcher. And I just go out, and my job is just to pitch. As this one is lifted to second, as Clanker makes the play. One away. Crabtree also mentioned that in the past, sometimes she would let different things affect her. Maybe a bad call from an umpire or a, a big hit she gave up. Like that, that last inning we saw to Julie Ward. And, and we'll see right now if she's able to gain her composure, come back, and, and right there just, just go back to her own game plan and, and know that her team can put some runs on the board. Special things. Unexpected things happen in Roosevelt Stadium this time of year. FSU and TCU alike on their feet. We started getting some guys on base, and the energy just picked up, and we started getting excited. We started getting some momentum. Oh, they hit that double off the wall. Coach laid off again, 3 2 pitch. And I just so happened to come up with the bases loaded. Two out, bottom of the eighth. I was telling myself, this could be my last college at bat. I didn't want to go down and strike it out. I believe that threw another curveball and he was all over it and just he crushed it. Crushed to dead center field. Slam! As soon as I hit it, I knew I got it. I started fist pumping around to the bases. It was an awesome feeling. The biggest hit of my career. Holy cow, what a shot! Got throw the other night with the grand slam that cleared everything in center field. And ended up down in the parking lot, down the hill. And now he has the ball and a little souvenir for it, which is great. This is not an easy task facing a left-hander like Rasmus. I think that's great that yeah, the fan actually gave him the ball back. I think that's just a tremendous story. Really well, somebody, yeah, that, that's what this you know College World Series is all about. That's the way the fans think. They care. They really they went to the effort of calling the TV station to try to locate the kid. They didn't know what hotel they were at. And you, don't, you don't see that in the big leagues anymore. I mean, they, you know, the fan gets it. I think we had a teammate. Had a teammate hit his first hit was a home run, and you know, trying to get the ball back. And the guy wanted to say, "Well, how much are you going to give me for that?" And I'm like, "Yeah, shit, really? Here's a bat, a signed bat, and some gloves or something." I mean, I, I was.